Elizabeth Garrett Anderson was an English physician and suffragist who faced educational barriers in her youth, as there were no schools in her area for little girls, leading her mother to personally educate her and her sister in reading and math. By the time she was 13, her mother sent her and her sister to a boarding school for girls in London, where Elizabeth developed a passion for reading and learned several languages. But she found herself disliking the school and believing the teachers were below her educational level. In 1858, at the age of 23, Elizabeth read about Elizabeth Blackwell, the first female doctor in the United States, and the following year, when Blackwell visited London, Elizabeth joined the hosting organization to seize the opportunity to meet her. Meeting Elizabeth Blackwell ignited a spark of courage in Elizabeth Garrett Anderson to pursue medicine, but being a woman meant she could not simply attend classes to earn a degree. She thus began her journey by becoming a nurse in 1860. During her time at Middlesex Hospital, Elizabeth obtained an honors certificate in chemistry and materia medica, but she faced hostility from male students and was denied admission to every medical school she applied to based solely on her gender. It took Elizabeth until 1865 to discover a loophole that allowed her to take the medical exam she passed with the highest grade in her class, making her the first female doctor in Britain. Immediately after her achievement, the Society of Apothecaries changed their rules to prevent any other women from obtaining a medical license. Elizabeth had to open her own practice where she initially focused on helping the poor. During the cholera outbreak in 1865, Elizabeth treated over 3,000 patients from both wealthy and poor backgrounds, demonstrating her dedication and skill as a physician. In 1875, Elizabeth decided to co-found the London School of Medicine for Women with her friend Sophia Jex Blake, where she would serve as a lecturer for many years before ultimately becoming the dean until her retirement.